crash and burn. Hey everybody. So tonight I am wondering uh, which use your illusion was better. Was it use your illusion one or was it use your illusion two? I hatched the idea for this and I've been thinking about it quite a bit since I, I did the video a couple days back for uh, my world closing out use your illusion two. And I'm pretty sure in that video I asked like, I said, like, I think that everybody's favorite user illusion was two over one. But then that being said, when I think about it, I mean, off one, off the top of my head, I mean, there's right next door to hell's on there. Their, their cover of live and let die was great. Um, perfect crimes on there. Uh, double talk and jives on there. November rain is on there. Um, coma closes out the record. That's like I, the, the last three minutes of coma is like, like just about my favorite thing like my absolute most favorite thing Guns N' Roses have ever done. Um, Dead Horse is on there. Uh, Don't Damn Me is on there. So I think there's about like eight or nine songs off the first Use Your Illusion that I really, really love. But I will say the one thing that always sort of put me off the first Use Your Illusion was more just that it felt like that was their more um, blues rock record. Whereas I felt with Use Your Illusion 2, it felt more experimental at times. Like with tracks like Estranged, it, 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 they, they ventured into, it's like they seemed to sort of scale things up more as far as the going for the dramatic effect angle is concerned. It felt like the guys in Guns N' Roses um, with Use Your Illusion 1 was more like the stripped down sort of like just the guys hanging out in the studio, putting these songs together, having some drinks and hanging out. But then with Use Your Illusion 2, it, Use Your Illusion 2, sorry, it felt like the bigness of Guns N' Roses had completely taken over. And I know a lot of people would say that was a bad thing because I know there's a lot of purists out there that feel that Appetite for Destruction was their best record. But, and they absolutely detest both Use Your Illusions. But I felt like, I don't know, 2, despite its it being so over the top at times, um, it just hit so well. Like, it seems like the melodic lines on Use Your Illusion 2 seem to identify, or I identify with those a lot more than I do with the melodic lines on uh, Use Your Illusion 1. And again, I think that's because there is that sort of bluesy, sort of rock-ish sort of standard. Not, no, no, that's not fair. I shouldn't use the word standard. That's a horrible word to use more of like a traditional rock and roll sound is present on Use Your Illusion 1. But then Use Your Illusion 2, I mean, Civil War's on there, 14 Years is on there, Yesterday's is on there, Get in the Ring is on there, uh, Shotgun Blues is on there, uh, Breakdown, Pretty Tied Up, uh, Locomotive, So Fine, Estranged, You Could Be Mine. Um, and it closes, of course, with My World, which is uh, in a way the reason why I'm doing this video now is because of the video I did on my world was the one that jumped me off to starting to think about which user illusion from Guns N' Roses was better. Was it the first or second one? I'm going to say overall, I'm going with two because it's like there's like 11 or 12 songs on that record that I love, whereas there's only about eight or nine on the first user illusion. But that's it. I'm getting out of here. What do you guys think? Which user illusion is better? Is it the first one or is it the second one? Don't forget to let me know in the comments. Yada, yada, yada. You guys are amazing. I'm getting out of here. Have a good day.